All right, so Kyle and I are going to welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and germs, we are going to sell the Comia C6. We haven't even used it yet, so hopefully it'll be worth full price. Uh, and we're going to pick up a Massey Ferguson Harvester. So let's go. Uh, Kyle, do you want to grab a tractor maybe? And Because we're going to have to get the Harvester trailer. I guess the Harvester can pull it, though, can it? Uh, yes and no. Oh, good, my pedals aren't working. Stop! I probably forgot to uncombine my pedals. There we go. Alright. I just had to calibrate. Sometimes it's easier if you have a tractor, you know? Know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know, the trailer doesn't really connect very well to that harvester for some reason. So you sure you want to do this? I love this harvester. I wanted to use it. <laughs> well, I mean, I, do you want to use, do you want to use that thing for a harvest and then you know try to make some money? That way we can buy the other one and use them both. Nah, we'll just get the bigger one. It just makes sense because the Massey is bigger. <laughs> the poor harvester. How's it doing on maintenance? It's probably full up, right? Um, I'm trying to I see. got 17 days until it needs fixed. Yeah, I hate that. I don't like that because, like, if you're, if you're, um, like on my private farm, I realized it's kind of a, a hassle because if you have tractors that you don't use, you still have to pay full maintenance on them. So, like, if you don't use them, every 30 days you still have to maintain them. I mean, I guess in real life you but, still you kind of would. The maintenance costs are still low, though, if you're not oh, using it. Oh, man, I, the one I was paying was like 1200 bucks every 30 days. <laughs> what tractor is that? Uh, it was one of the Ford tractors. Oops. Oh. It was a seven, seven, the higher the price of the tractor, the, oops, the higher the, the what they charge. So... It was, I was, I thought it was a little bit crazy expensive, like, yeah, every couple months. Now, you watch your seat, there's a speed camera right there, you see that? Yeah. That'll actually clock your speed and to give you a ticket if you're going too fast. Well, I'm going to start speeding. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the, the tickets are like 10,000 bucks. <laughs> They're expensive. All right, here's the shop. Oh, it looks like we have a piece of equipment sitting down here. So I think the Massey f Harvester is probably a better idea just because it's larger. It has a much bigger header. But we probably could stand. We have a lot of field space. We probably could stand to have two harvesters that we were, were you know, getting a lot done. But... Uh, so this, it's a decision you need to make before we uh, make that Comia disappear. Well, if we have one of these, we're going to definitely need a second harvester at the time of the harvest. Uh, let me think. No, we'll just trade it in. All right. <laughs> Bye, little Comia. Oh, it's the thing we always have here. What is that? The Oh, okay. The, like the, the forklift? Or the weight? <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, so it's time to it's, sell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this thing off the line. Okay. Goodbye, little Camilla. <sighs> okay, so. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say let's put this thing right in front of this door over here. Fifty-five. Oh, for a hundred dollars, we could get a warning triangle. <laughs> Ew. You know, we could probably... I'm going to do this. You're going to laugh at this, but... There we go. Seems extravagant. Like two headers. I know, and probably two trailers. Hopefully the headers aren't too expensive. I didn't think about that. Oh, no, they're bad. They're cheap. Okay. Because the mower header is insanely expensive. Have you seen the, the mower header? Yeah. It's like It's like $40,000. I don't know what they were doing there, but... 
Um, I guess we could try to drive these back. You think we can drive them back with those headers on? No. They'll get, stu okay. get stuck to the gate. We can't even get out. Okay. <laughs> at, so, least get, uh, at least get one trailer. I'll get a pair. No, we can do multiple trips. We got time. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing else going on until... Uh, until harvest time in like six months. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna buy the Massey one? Massey what? Oh, that little flatbed thing? Yeah. No. That thing's terrible. Okay. I've, I've had all kinds of problems with that one. I think I just bought two different colors of red. No, they're the same. Okay. I'll get these loaded on for you. Yeah, so this is what Kyle and I were talking about before the episode started. I really uh, am disappointed with this heart, the way this harvester looks. Now the back looks kind of cool, like the where it's wrapped, but it's like I don't know. It just looks, it doesn't look good compared to the rest of the mod and how good everything else looks. It's really, I don't know. It was just disappointing to me. It looks very cartoony. And I'm not sure if it's because they went with flat, like with flat colors instead of making it glossy. But I think a little gloss would have probably helped. I don't know. Well, that and... More detail. I think, I think it might have been a rush job. Yeah, it just looks like a box. I mean, essentially that's what a harvester is, but it looks really boxy. It just looks like they didn't bother with any kind of detail. <laughs> I don't know. Then again, I've never seen a real one of these in real li and you know real life. But let's head back. I'm not entirely sure this thing connected. It looks like it. I'd say from a functionality standpoint and obviously a price standpoint, we're doing better because we're going to be able to do a lot more harvesting with two harvesters, but for the price of one, really. We actually have almost the exact same dollar amount as when we started, so we got two harvesters. I do like that. <laughs> Not going to complain about the price. We got two X, so we got two harvesters, and now we have, like, almost four times the... Monthly expense, you know, or daily expense? Cutting, the cutting width. Yeah, true. <laughs> Would you want me to run over you? Was that what you want? Would you like me to run this big wheel over your car? Sure. Okay. <laughs> well, Lunatic designed this place because... <laughs> I know. This is insane here. Ugh. There we go. All right. Not making any of these turns without running something over. Even the cabin is like a super big disappointment. I mean, I guess there's not much to it. It's just... I don't know. I feel like they could have used... I don't know. It's really low res. What the heck? Like, the tractors are so good. Uh, oh, well. What are you going to do? I'm sure they'll come out with an update to fix it. Yeah. I'm also super picky, like overly picky when it comes to mods, so there is that. Yeah. But I just, this one to me was a little bit of a disappointment. <laughs> well, I guess... Yeah, I, yeah, I saw ahead. it and I was like, oh, yeah, kind of low quality, but, yeah. <laughs> you know. Especially for Black Sheep modding, they're usually really, like, on the game. But I was just like, you know what? I'll 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 leave it as is because you know, I don't I'm not gonna worry about all the textures and stuff for the functionality I get out of it. Right. Having a huge uh bin on it and Yeah, it's got a nice size header. bin, it's got a decent size, you know, for it for its size. It has a, uh, it's a good in between. Like I mean I guess the header on this one's bigger than the uh, New Holland header, isn't it? Like the first New Holland header? Yeah. I think that's 18 feet, and this is like 21 or 24 or something like that. So it is a nice size header. It's a lot of machine for the price. So we'll put up with it. I don't mind it from the inside too much, but it's freaking huge. I am so high up right now. Did I go up down the wrong road? I think it came down the wrong road. Oh, well. We can still get there, though. Yeah, all roads lead back to the farm. But I figure with the big fields that we've planted, this is, like, especially 37, that little Kamiya would, wouldn't be able to do it. So 
I mean, have, we'd have to be emptying like halfway down the lane and, you know. Right. <laughs> What's up, Goosey Pants? And all that. Hey, as long as you plug it in and keep it charging, I'll let you use it, okay? But I really, you guys need to kind of. Hi, Pants. Love you too, kid. All right, so we'll park these. We're going to have to get another solar panel when we have the money. Solar panels are great. It's a good way to make money. I like them just because they offset uh, costs. Yeah, like right now, I think we need a second one. We're, our costs are pretty high because we have a lot of equipment. It's going to go through the roof when we have to start maintaining these. Maybe uh, people. Am I low enough that I'll fit under this, or is this too high? Mm, you should fit. Knock the exhaust pipe off of the or whatever that pipe is on top. Donk. Yeah, it's just it's it's this is really low res. <laughs> Uh, it needs something. I don't know what. I don't know what it needs, but it needs something. I'm not a good. I'm not a 3D modeler. I mean, not to knock the guy's efforts. They obviously put a lot of effort into this, but it's just. It's really, really low res. Where do you want to put that? What are you thinking? I just leave it on there. Oh yeah. Oh, you're gonna park it right there. No. Uh. Or what do you oh, think? Wait, yeah, because we have extra trailers. Right, right. Um, yeah, just put it right next to the harvester, I guess. Just park it next to the harvester. There should be room for both in there. They're pretty skinny. Like, I can put the other harvester in front of that one, and then we could do the trailer, like trailer, trailer. Yeah. What's up, Snack? Ready to cook? You stopped the Guitar Center on your way to... Giant Eagle and Medina. Did you which car did you take? Okay. I did, I thought you'd want to take your new car, but it's not gonna blow up, Ryan. That thing's been to Florida back like thirty million times. <laughs> All right. Ryan got a new car, but he doesn't want to drive it. It's pretty, uh... Oh, yeah, you're playing it? Ryan's looking at a... He's looking at a really cool, um... Ibanez electric guitar. From, uh... But it's like a real high-end one. Like, it's like a $1,000 guitar. He's saving up for it. But then he, my, my brother-in-law also gave him this, like, ratty old 1998 Civic. <laughs> no, you don't get a thousand. They don't just give you a thousand dollars, Ryan. It's a thousand dollars toward another car. Yeah. You'll have to see. Okay. Who's did who's hiring for the 1225? No, you could do that. That's pretty high stress, but you could do that. I'm waiting to hear about the guitars. I declined to move my application, but I didn't decline the, the uh, operations associate. So I Why did they decline it? Interesting. They declined the two because I don't have enough experience in this with AirTech yet. Uh, but uh, I didn't hear back about the third job I applied to, so I'm waiting to hear from that. Okay. FA cover flying, so you know. Well, I hope you get something somewhere. Is this really 27 feet? Is that why they call it a 27 cut? I have no idea. So anyway, they get his brother. My brother-in-law gave him uh, six meters. Would that be 27 feet? Six. Let me think about this. Each meter is three feet. So three meters is wait. Two meters would be six. Oh, my brain nine. No, it's 18 feet. 
So nine, nine, nine feet plus nine feet, eighteen. So it's not even close to twenty-seven. But interesting, but they, it's a number. It's a model twenty-seven. Uh, anyway, um, he gave him a nineteen ninety-eight Ford Escort station wagon, <laughs> and it's it's beat to crap, wow. but it's it still runs. Now, one nice detail on this harvester is it's got that that cage on top, like by where the the motor is, like a cooling cage. That lo that's a oh, nice yeah. detail. Like, why didn't they do the whole thing like that? I just. And I know I'm being picky. These guys put a lot of effort into this. I just it was a little, a little sad. All right, go ahead, Creatus. I'll follow you back. I mean, a harvester is essentially a box <laughs> with yeah. a with a cutter, a lawnmower with a box on the back. I mean, is really what it is. But obviously, there's more to it. But Peter, <laughs> I figure it's a good way to avoid the traffic. I bet you in real life they would do that too, maybe. Uh oh. Come on, Bronco. So I took uh, I, I took um, my kids to Lake Erie yesterday. Uh, my my mom stayed over the weekend, like with her dogs, and then we went up to her house to drop her off, and then went to the lake to have a picnic. And I took my RC trucks, right? And the one that I yeah. bought, the Traxxas, is, is all waterproof. So, you know, John was having fun driving around. And there was, like, a little inlet, and then there was, you know, the lake. But we, we were kind of in the inlet between. There's, there was, like, a sandbar where you could walk and then, like, the lake. So you have, like, the inlet, the sandbar, and the lake. And so the inlet's real shallow, maybe, like, a foot. I'm sorry, not a foot, like a, uh, like 10 inches or less, um, you know, maybe 6 inches. It, shallow enough that there's places where the truck could run across. Yeah. And, and so he was driving back and forth having fun. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. You know, when I was driving my truck, we were both having a good time. And then he got some seaweed on the bottom of his truck. So he took his radio and set it down in the inlet and <laughs> to get the seaweed off the truck. And I'm like, John. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I took it home. I took it all apart and uh, used a blow dryer and, you know, blew it out. And... Uh, and it, it uh, after I got it all dry, it worked again. But it did not. It, it like shut you know it shut it off. It short circuited. It's like Mater. Oh wait a minute. I this makes sense now. This is the road that runs along our field. Okay. I, for some reason, this this did not connect for me. Like in my brain, I didn't realize that this road that goes to our farm is the road that goes by field number thirty-seven. Yeah. I don't know why, but it just didn't connect. Well, our last tree harvester episode was a disaster, but... We learned a lot, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and somebody else, Neil, pointed out, he's like, well, you shouldn't have taken the harvester back after you paid the $9,000. You should have used it for another hour. I'm like, oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> we should have kept using it. Oops, I just hit my shut off button. <laughs> we could have got another hour's use out of it. Uh, what are you going to do? I'll let you go first. Go ahead. All right. Now, are you using your steering wheel setup, or are you still using mouse and keyboard? Mouse and keyboard. It does take a bit. That's the only down, downside about setups is that it takes, you know, such a long time to get it all put together. Now, I just leave mine all hooked up, so I don't have to keep doing that, but uh, I do take the steering wheel off the table and set it on top of my computer. Because sometimes you just don't feel like using it, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, once I'm hauling at the potato farm, I'm going to buy one of those uh, steering wheel stands. Oh, so you can just put it on there and then move it in and out. Yeah, and it has a little tray that I can put the uh, the console on. That's cool. 
That way I can just put the whole thing on its own little setup. Are you able to get around me? Am I... Okay, cool. That's really cool. That'll be fun. From close. I think I made it. And I don't think I hit the other harvester. Nope. Let's see here. Still got room. Turn on GPS. Oh, we have the GPS mod. Yay. That means I can harvest from inside the cab. Do these have. GPS bumps on them? I think they do. Have what? The GPS bump on the roof. Uh, I don't remember. Um, no, they don't. Okay. It's all manual work for us. What do you think? Good idea? Yeah. I think it'll make life easier, especially as the farm grows. We'll be able to chop that stuff down in no time. What do we have? Do we need to? We won't need to plow for a couple seasons, but we'll get those rippers again when we do. We've got a cultivator and a seed. We've got two cedars. Oh, um, one of the things we can do. This still had seed in it, right? The Cetera? Uh I think so. So the this should work now, though. So we can switch. Once we're done emptying that out, we can switch over to the Massey cedar. Another Massey cedar. We'll have two of those instead. And I'll pick up a second cultivator too. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and advance time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back in a minute. We're going to let time advance, and we will catch you guys sometime towards the end of summer or early fall when it's time to do more stuff. See you then. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made an evil corporate decision. Kyle and I are going to actually cheat, not really, and we're going to cut grass for silage. I know there's some of you that hate that, but we need some money coming in. and Deal uh, with it. Deal with it, yeah. So we're gonna make some great. We're gonna mow. It's we're at second stage here. That's about as good as it's gonna get. So let's go ahead and grab the mowers, Kyle, and we'll get mowing. And then we're gonna bale and wrap. And then we have to let them sit for two more days. So we can't really sell them until midfall because they have to actually ferment. You can't just go out and sell them. So it's a little bit more like real life. Uh, and so, but we are gonna. We've got the equipment to do it. We've got the bale wrapper and all that stuff. We might as well use it to its to its best advantage. Um. Let's do it. I forget how to close the door on this. Oh, that's it. Hold down both of your uh, your mouse buttons. Mouse. All right. So off we go to the mo. That's a nice little mower you got there, Kyle. You have two places to uh, mow? I don't remember. Two places to mow? Yeah. Are we both going to cut the same spot? Yeah, I'll just run along with you for fun. Unless you'd rather mow privately. Well, no, I just didn't know how you wanted to do it. My goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this with the cruise control on. Down to a realistic speed. What speed are you setting it at? Five. Well, especially on this edge, because it's so uh edgy. <laughs> waka waka waka. Got the mowing twins going. They actually do wind row pretty fast, uh, but on this hill, I'm sure they would take their time and be more cautious. But I watched, I, what is it, that one lonely farmer dude? I mean, he 
he mows at like six or seven miles an hour. They mow pretty quick. And they mow a lot of grass. In fact, I think that's primarily what his business is based on, is, is grass mowing. What's up, Rye? One lonely farmer. He's that guy that I watch that does farming on GoPro. Yeah. What's up, Rube? He's kind of silly a little bit, but... I mean, I think they do some normal farming, too, but it seems like his primary business is bailing hay. He has a bunch of fields that are like 10 times this size, though. It's neat to watch him and, like, the different things that he has to do, though, like like what he goes through because he buys a lot of different equipment. And so you get to see him test out, like, sometimes he'll use, like, like he did not like the newer Massey Ferguson cutters. Um, he runs, uh, he has a John Deere cutter, and then he also has a case cutter that he likes. Um, he bought a new Holland cutter, and it, like, broke probably like five or six times the first season and so he ended up getting his money back for that one but uh he bought it he bought a case harvester and then put the put the new holland uh cutter on it so i thought that was funny as a new holland header what's up seth well they're they're all made in the same factory so yeah case of new holland yeah i thought they were separate I thought it was... No, you're right. They are the same, aren't they? Yeah, because it used to be Ford New Holland, and then when Ford quit, you know, the f whole farming thing, Internet, or, uh, New Holland had to uh, partner up with someone else to get, you know, things like engines and stuff. Yeah, and I forgot. So I think you... Going with Case. There's something about the Case build that he likes, though. Oh, Seth... Sorry about that, folks. Seth just did something on my other computer and poop canned my connection. Yes, you did. You killed me, Seth. This is probably my favorite device from this pack. The tractors are cool and stuff, but there's lots of cool tractors. But there aren't very many uh, wind rowers out there, or speed rowers. Yeah. I really wish they would. I mean, like, it's, you know, having a speed rower on a farm, it makes a huge difference for the whole operation. And I don't know why this, why Giants won't just put one in the game it is weird like what's the because they've got the brain i'm gonna i'm gonna start a new cut because it's obviously too tight of a turn there um because they have the the companies that make them i mean it's not like they need to get approval from case or from you know john deere or, oh they do from john deere but or from new holland though they had they could make a new holland speed rower or a case speed rower they just Maybe they feel like they don't, the company, the people won't want to buy, who knows. At least they put a sprayer in this time, right? Yeah. But that is a good question because they do have the brands that make them. So, you know, you've got Massey, you've got, you know, Case, you've got New Holland. All three of those make, you know, speed rowers. Why not just include them in the game? But anyway, I like these little Cabrowers. They're they're nice. It's nice to finally have one in game. Because before, what was that other one we had? The John Deere one, and that was horrible. John Deere one, and then we had, and then like before that, it was the uh, that weird Russian thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was that called? Uh, yeah, the the green yellowish one, right? The yellowish green one. 
Yeah. What is that? That's a. Uh, oh. Is that bison? Maybe. I don't remember. I'm trying to remember who made that. All of it. All right, I'll follow you. Where is the other one? <laughs> uh, it is um, over by field, north of Field 37. So we got to like go back through the farm and out the other side, or right along here, right along that road in front of you. Go straight, and then we're gonna make a curve. And don't let that summer mod fake you out. That car up is not ready, even though it looks ready. They make it look ready way before it's ready. It's one of their things. It's the uh, it's the drying phase. Correct. You know what they're mixing in. Which is totally cool. I think that's fine. I'm glad they do it. If they were to put, you know, grower in, harvesting like, uh, like the potato farm I work for does. Yeah. Or they, they cut it. With a with a speed rower. Oh. And then the combine just has a pickup header on it. Oh, weird. So they don't even do like a um, like a specialized potato harvester. No, I mean yeah, they have a specialized potato harvester. It's they grow both barley and potatoes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they just they alternate uh, their fields every okay. year. Okay. Yeah, and the barley goes to uh, Coors. That's hilarious. Yeah, I would imagine in, in Colorado, that's where a lot of the barley goes. But, uh, yeah, so when they're doing their barley, they cut it with a speed rower, and then uh, so it puts it all in one little windrow. Okay. And then the combine comes by and it just picks it up with a pickup header. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. And I think I think it's done that way because they can, uh, oh. you know, the speed rower can cut the field way faster than a combine can. Right. So that's crazy. So the barley just fly, goes flop on the ground, and then yeah. Or is that for potato? That's not for barley. It's for potato. No, it's for the barley. Okay. I think I've seen them do that before, where they do that, where they use this, like a quick a speed rower to cut it, and then they go behind it with the harvester with just a pickup header. I've seen I've seen that that happen before on the tube, on the Y tube. Too bad the head's so freaking expensive. <laughs> I think the the cutter's like sixteen thousand dollars, and then the or the the he, the mower is sixteen thousand bucks, and the cutter is like thirty eight, something like that. <laughs> this harvester is actually almost as expensive as the Massey, the the big har the harvesters we bought for the for the barley. Bowley and Camola, that's right. Yeah, and then it leaves it in wind rows, and then they come back with the harvester with that little header and pick up the rows. Yeah, it's... You know, I'm, sh I'm sure it's it either has to do with the fact that the speed rower can cut the whole mess a lot faster that way, or... Uh, I'm just going to snip this off here at the end, and then I'll come around. Okay. Uh, either faster to cut the fields just to get them cut, you don't have a risk of regrowth, or, I don't know, maybe it's just easier on the, on the harvesters to not have to do the cutting and the processing they just yeah maybe if it's processing. a maybe if it's kind of wet or something like it kind of it reduces the the workload for the harvester 
I might snip that off too, Kyle. Alright, I'm gonna snip it. I'll wait for you to make your your loop around. You the man. Seems like we're getting a decent amount of grass. Yeah. Not nearly as much as our first cut. And that's like, that's another thing that you need to add to the game is like, you know, al an alfalfa crop. That would have a huge effect on, you know, people actually wanting to mow. Alfalfa, um, lupine or whatever it's called would be cool to have that like like uh to make um silage because i guess a lot of places use uh lupin or lupine or whatever for uh for silage uh, and then definitely like cotton cotton would be a good there's a whole industry in that yeah i do like the uh you know the upcoming booger cane the booger cane Get that new wild-looking harvester. So, is it going to include a harvester? Uh, supposedly, that DLC comes with a harvester specifically for the. Sweet. I guess it would have to, right? Campaign. So that's really yeah. cool. Awesome. Couple more months. I I'll pre-order mine today. <laughs> Put it out there. Yeah, I gotta wait till I get paid by the. Yeah. Potato farm. Pure farming is uh, looking pretty cool too. I was looking at that. They got a lot of cool. They got the same equipment that uh, that farm experts using. So I'm wondering if farm experts going to go under because they've, they've got they've got the. I hope they do. Why? It's great. Come on. Uh, I don't want them to go under. I want them to get better. Uh, they're using the McCormicks and the Landinis and stuff like that. Oh, and there's a patch that came out for cattle and crops. That I can totally play it now. Like, I actually can have a normal frame rate. Which, duh, I need to post that video. I forgot to, to put that up on YouTube. But uh, the, the latest patch, they actually fixed the framing issues with my video card. So now it's running. It's still like 30 frames a second, but it's smooth. It's not choppy. Cattle and crops, to me, it feels like it's a long way from being done. Like you think that you know farm experts are off, you got to see cattle and crop. <laughs> Though admittedly, it looks better. Like visu like visually speaking, it's better looking, but it's just it's not good. What are you playing, Seth? <sighs> now, you don't play ETS 2, do you? Not anymore. They got that new DAF pack. It's pretty cool. No, go do what Ryan said, Seth, right now. Go. Massey Flurgeson. So we got two mows out of the, out of the, like what we did it early summer, or did we do it in the, the spring? I think we did wait until summer, right? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. Actually, I think we did it in the spring because we did it right after we planted. Okay. Yes. Well, do the other rooms. Do the other rooms, and then do it. Do the do that kitchen area after dinner. No, we'll be you'll be eating at the table, so it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> me me. 
No, hon, because I can't get, for some reason, I can't get the two computers to work at once on the server. It just doesn't work, John. I love you, John. I don't know. Yeah, even after I restarted my router last time, I still could get both computers connected. It's weird how that works. It might just be the, you know, the local hosting thing. Yeah, it could be. Remember how choppy the 15 server was? <laughs> like, this is just night and day compared to it. Like, it's just, it's so smooth most most of the time. I know some people have lag issues, but that's more because they have crappy internet. But, like, even, like, you have fairly bad internet, don't you? Yeah. And you still have pretty good lag, don't you? Um, it's here and there. Like, do you get, like, bounces and stuff? Yeah. But, like, I don't know. It's, there's, sometimes I can have, like, super awesome internet, and then other times we're, like, might as well not even try. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably somewhat weather dependent. Yeah. Full mow ahead. All right, so now we need to bail and wrap. Well, rake, bail, and wrap. Do you want to rake it first? Yeah. Oh, that would take forever to try to get around those corners. That. Well, if you want to rake it, I'll bail it. So I'll follow you with the baler. And we'll wrap, and we can just leave it in the field for a couple days because we don't really need uh We can't really collect until... Let's see, today is what? Uh, where's my... Thursday. Today's Thursday, so tomorrow, Friday. So we'll be, we'll be able to collect it on Saturday. And it's raining on Saturday, so we probably won't be able to harvest until Sunday, if that's if it's ready. Hopefully it'll be ready because it's going to be snowing Wednesday and Thursday. That's not good. Though the way the game works, you, can, you usually can get in because it doesn't usually snow all day. Like it snows for a couple hours, and then you can get out there. But it's like Sunday looks like our one opportunity that it's not going to be raining or snowing. Would you mind washing mine up too? Um. If you can, if you can, I don't know if we'll be able to or not. Bark, 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 bark. Come on, more eggs, chickens. Get to work. Chickens better start chickening faster. Ch chicken out. If you're not able to, it's fine. I can also do it. But I'm doing no, it. No, I don't want to. It's fine. Thanks, John. It looks pretty clean already. It's not bad. I should probably close my door. Worship it up. Messy Fogless and Farm. Did that scare you? No. Rats. Looks good. This thing has a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour. Beep, beep.
There we go. Or if you want to get the rake. Bam. Bam. I'll get the other one. And that rake fits in there by like an inch and a half. Like the height? Yeah, which <laughs> which field are you gonna do first? Uh, thirty-eight. Our little neighbor. Here I come, ladies and gentlemen. I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed this mowing-filled episode of, whoops, I went the wrong way, Massey Ferguson Farm, where we continue to bring you exciting entertainment as we go through the season's mod. We're still in our first year. We have not experienced the joys of Christmas or the heartbreak of going broke, thankfully. Uh, we will see you next time. Kyle, would you like to say goodnight? Good night, everybody. Don't Be forget to check out facebook group yep i think we're almost up to what 800 people now 700 something so, we're getting there we're getting there and also the twitch uh twitch.tv slash vblu guitar and last but not least uh if you want to subscribe i would love that and then also uh if you want to support the channel you can donate donating helps um right now i'm saving all my donations for a new video card uh we're about 80 bucks right now, so it's going to be a while before I can get to get one, but I will keep you guys updated as we go. And uh, the, the video card is for the recording computer, so we will see you next time on Massey Ferguson Farm.